Today's video is about how to keep your transplant as long as possible. Okay, it's my favorite topic because I have a kidney transplant. And in August, it'll be 19 years that I have it. In my transplant, I had delayed graft function, it didn't work right away. I was in the hospital a lot longer than I was supposed to be for most transplants. It was stage three kidney disease. I left the transplant hospital. They said I'd be lucky to have seven years and that's where my obsession began. So let's get into how to keep your transplant as long as possible. So some information, okay. Uh, this comes from the Kidney Medicine Journal, okay. One of the journals of the National Kidney Foundation. And here's a piece of original research. Uh, Sarin bicarbonate and graft in patient outcomes among kidney transplant recipients. Retrospective cohort study evaluating changes in sarin bicarbonate over time. So if you wanna read that, Kidney Medicine, Volume 5, Issue 1, January 2000, 2023. So they looked at people with uh, kidney transplants and they're looking at that CO2 carbon dioxide level to see if you have metabolic acidosis. Okay, I talked about this a lot in other videos, so make sure to check them out. Now, the first thing you want to do is you want to get your blood work, get a copy of your blood work. Don't assume your doctor is looking at this. Never assume. I have so many people tell me, well, my doctor never said anything. And they're very surprised to find out of all the things that are going on with their kidney health that could be improved very easily. So don't assume. So get your blood work, okay? We're looking on the blood work, you gotta look at the CO2 carbon dioxide number. It's either gonna be listed as carbon dioxide or CO2, find that number, all right? Now that number for kidney transplants should be 24 or higher, and it should be even higher, but you at least have to get 24. So they talked about in this piece of over like a thousand people with transplants in the US, they tracked them over time. The people who had a better, okay, a higher CO2 um, carbon dioxide level had much better results at the end. So let me give you the results, all right, before we get into what you're actually gonna do. In conclusion, we found that the US community-based population of kidney transplant recipients, even small incremental increases in serum bicarbonate, okay, that's the increases in that CO2 carbon dioxide level, were significantly associated with reduced hazard of graft loss, all-cause mortality, uh, cardiovascular events, and hospitalization. Okay, so it's so, so important. Now, even if you don't truly have what's called metabolic acidosis, where, where you're below that 24 on your CO2 or your carbon dioxide, there's most likely still acidosis going on. There's something called UB carbotenemic acidosis. I might have said that wrong. There's not even a pronunciation. You can look up online for this because it's a fairly, not new, it's been out for a couple of years, but it's a, a newer medical term. It means, that most people with kidney disease, even kidney transplants, have acidosis that's not being seen in the blood work yet. So that's why we believe that everybody should be above 24 on that carbon dioxide CO2, okay? You probably need to be higher, but for kidney transplants, you should be at 26 to 28, okay? 26 to 28. If you're not at 26 to 28, if you're 24, 23, you wanna increase it. You can do that by taking sodium bicarbonate pills, or uh, sodium bicarbonate powder. Okay, it'd be like one eighth of a teaspoon of powder, one or twice a day, and you can do a one or two pills depending on your level. Make sure you get your blood work checked. All right, so you're gonna help your transplant last longer by having that carbon dioxide CO2 level higher. Okay, you wanna try to strive for that 26 to 28 on your blood test, all right, but you at least gotta be above 24. Basically, you're gonna have way more issues, complications, your transplant isn't gonna last that long. Now, you're going to go get your blood work and you're going to see, and a lot of you are going to be surprised to find that you're below 24. That's okay. I can't tell you the uh, hundreds, hundreds, maybe even thousands at this point of people's blood work I've seen where they have constant acidosis. So check it, correct it. You'll probably, at a good chance, you can see improvement in your kidney function numbers, but at least you're going to decrease all the issues of the kidney transplant, help it last longer by having a proper uh, carbon dioxide CO2 level. Thanks for watching guys. Hopefully this wasn't confusing. Watch it again. Also in the comment section, you can drop any questions related to this video. Thanks for watching. Also, we have hundreds of other videos and a lot more about acidosis, sodium bicarbonate, your CO2 levels, and so to your best kidney health guys. Bye.